this is the 2017 Volvo XC90. Now, if you're wondering, by following me continuously, if you're wondering why I always start off that way, I always love to introduce the vehicle that I'm going to be going over different features on. So for those that I haven't had an opportunity to actually see the vehicle in person, it gives them an opportunity to see it for the first time. If you look, this is an inscription model. You can tell by the 20-inch wheels that I've just shown you. You can also tell by the satin finish grille, which you see up front. Those are exclusive to the inscription model. Now, if you have a Momentum, you've already bought it, and you love the look of the inscription, perhaps later on you can grab a couple of these items, especially the grille, to kind of change the look of your car up. Now, as I go inside, we're going to touch on today connecting your vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot. Perhaps you're having a problem connecting if you've already purchased. If you have just purchased today or yesterday and you've yet to set it up, this will show you exactly how to do so. Now, as I always do, I always like to tell a little bit about the vehicle there again that I'm going to be going over. You can see the wood grain, the Napa leather of the inscription which is also perforated. So as you can see there, the inscription, by the way, will have a little bit of a more comfortable seat. The Napa leather sometimes can be known to be a bit softer than the regular leather. And you can also tell by the crystal gear shift, which is found here in the center. So this will be an inscription model. I'm going to jump in. And... Now, you will also see, here's a good view of the dash before we get started. Sorry about the brightness outside. That's going to eliminate some of the different visuals you'll be able to take into consideration on the inside here. So let's get started. Now, there again, we're going to be connecting your Volvo vehicle hotspot. I have my phone, which you can actually see is a perfect fit when you uncover the cup holders and just a little storage areas here this is a perfect fit for cell phones even the wider phones will fit more perfect they will actually sit up as you can see here we had one client that loved the vehicle and winded up purchasing simply due to that vehicles already running as you can see the navigational screen is already in play so what we're going to do to get started on connecting our vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot we're actually going to come here we're going to pull down go to settings communication now the first thing that we actually want to do is go to vehicle modem internet we want to make sure that is checked and we're going to leave that in play then we're going to come once that has been checked that's going to be the the start of everything so you must do that as step one step two you can already see now here's a little bit of a cheat on this one someone's already turned it on what we're gonna do is actually press the vehicle or touch the vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot we're gonna make sure the box is checked I'm gonna take you back if the box is checked now we can actually connect and you're ready to go this actually shows all of your connected devices which here there are not so we're gonna back up just a bit I'm going to go back, uncheck the vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, I'm going to click here. I'm going to go in and change the name, which is my network name. You can see it right here. It has to be 6 to 32 characters. I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to make that my Volvo. I'm going to go down, change the password, and you're never going to remember that. Each and every time if you're connecting someone, you can always go back to it. So definitely remember that. You don't have to worry about remembering it or writing it down or anything of that nature. You can always refer back to it. I'm going to go in and erase, erase that because we want to put in our very own. So we're going to go and, of course, my first name is Alton. So we're going to go ahead and enter that and say, let's see a little space there and so we're going to make it my Volvo this would be my first one so we're going to number one and once we have that we want to confirm so everything's already put into play now 
You're not going to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot simply because, and you probably remembered from the instructions that I gave just minutes earlier, you can come. You want to make sure the box is checked. Now you can see the frequency band, 2.4, and you can see connect devices, devices right now, which are actually at zero. So what I'm going to do, something that I failed to mention, before you even come out to the vehicle, your advisor should have actually went to att.com backslash Volvo. Uh, by going there, they can go ahead and sign you up for six months on all brand new vehicles for the Wi-Fi connection. Also, the vehicle Wi-Fi, um, also uh, the Volvo On Call, which is the phone app, they should do that as well as the AT&T connection for your vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot as well. Now, there again, that email or that address is actually att.com backslash Volvo. That's how you sign up for the service. Once you've signed up, you want to go back through the steps that I've actually just mentioned. Um, as you can see as well, I'm going to uncheck, go back, because I did not hit confirm on the password on the network name. So I'm going to go, confirm there. So now I've changed the network name, as you saw me do, to my Volvo. I've changed the password to Alton Volvo 1. Now once I have that done, to start everything up, to fire it up, I'm going to check the box. So now it is up and running and it is ready for devices to be connected. So let me get you a little bit more stabilized here. So I hope that's actually a good shot for you. Just kind of bear with me. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my phone here. So bear with me. Let's see. Go to settings. If I go to settings, and I'm just doing this on my phone, of course you can do it on your phone, no need to show this portion. You can see at the very top there, it actually says My Volvo. I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And once I do that, now it's looking for the password. So I'm going to put in the password. Watch the center screen, and you can see on my phone here, just going to move it up just a bit, the very top there. So it actually shows connected. Now, if you see right here, it was actually turned off. It actually shows connected. I'm going to go back in and do that once more. And what you're going to see, now you see one of eight. If I tap on that, it actually shows my cell phone connected there. So if you want to know exactly if your item is connected, remember, once you're connected, it's going to show one of eight. You can connect up to eight devices. Once connected, it will show one of eight there. Then if you click on it, it will show your device. So my device is now connected to Volvo's Wi-Fi hotspot. And if I surf the web, you can see on my phone there as well, right at the top, Wi-Fi is connected. I'm connected to the car, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to surf the web. Enjoy, and definitely enjoy the devices and the drive of your vehicle. Thanks again for tuning in, and remember, definitely tune in tomorrow or the next coming days. I will have uh, the illustration of some other feature for the Volvo XC90 or S90 in the coming days. Thank you once more.